Good morning and welcome back to my yoga room where I do yoga by myself and talk to myself. Um, kind of kidding but pretty truthful. So it is miserable here in Ireland and um, don't have any snow yet but we have lots of rain, so I'm doing about, I'm going to do a video with you guys and then I'm on day 13 now of my Kundalini Kriya that I do every day and I am feeling really, really good. Um, I have noticed with the Nami Kriya, it brings some... Um, just breaks through the the mind controlling you so you control your own mind and you become more um, courageous and confident and willing to take on challenges and when you feel like you are lacking in willpower um, you make yourself do the Kriya and you go through it and to the best of your ability and complete it and then the other things that you've kind of been putting off and procrastinating on I've been noticing uh, for my own journey through this that it it really does um, make you break through that and for example I've been putting off painting my laundry room and I completed that yesterday so I'm not going to talk about it anymore um, and next room is going to be this room I'm going to paint and then we'll just keep going and um, also progress on the studio the floor is in upstairs and um, they're wiring right now so there's lights and and power going in there and it doesn't look like we ever did yoga in there right now there is table saws and everything you can imagine in there so i'm back to, to this room and the heat is on so i'm delighted all right so um let me know what your feedback is some of you have have uh, messaged me and, and let me know what you thought of the last few videos but I am um, more committed to doing a video every two three days as you can tell and I just want to keep you guys motivated and calm and um, disease resistant um, and just no emotional fatigue and things like that so I thought that we would do uh, well we'll start off just moving the spine and then I thought that we would do some warriors and things like that just to really work on some balance and strengthening the stabilizing muscles so come on to your hands and your knees. So knees are hip width and your knees are stacked right under your hips and shoulders are stacked right over your elbows and your hands. Okay, so first just start off just feeling your body right now. Um, really spread the fingers wide and press into your whole entire hand. Now this might feel, you know, a little uncomfortable, um, but they do need to be stretched. So just kind of go back and forth a little bit and take some deep breaths. So when you move forward, you're gonna inhale and when you move back, you're gonna exhale. So we're not going right back to the heels yet. We're just feeling the body.
Okay, and then now we'll start going back a little bit further to your heels. And now flip your toes and go back and forth. Stretch out the bottoms of the feet. Engage the lower belly. You're going to protect your lower back here. Okay, now walk your feet in your knees, bring your knees together and squeeze your knees together. Sit back into rock pose. Just take a second here, feel what your body feels like. Remember, like I've said before, if you can't get down to your heels, then just put a, a towel or a blanket, roll that up and just, you know, lift up so you're getting that stretch. So just start to move your neck around. Neck muscles are always a little bit weak, holding our heavy heads up. And not surprisingly, the thyroid gland gets a bit blocked. Okay, then just let your head drop back, open up that th thyroid and throat chakra. Close your eyes, roll your eyes up to the space in between your eyebrow, activate the pituitary and the pineal gland. Drop your chin down to your chest and stretch out the back of the, the neck here. Okay. All right. So first, you're going to curl your toes under. Lift yourself back up to down dog. Press your head back behind your arms. Separate your feet. And just come up onto the toes. Roll back, back and forth. Get all those clicks out of your feet and your toes. You can hear mine right now. Keep pressing through your fingers. And then bend your knees and send your torso towards your knees. Just draw up your head back. You can swing around a little bit. Okay, and then lift your right leg up, three-legged dog, open up, and let your head go underneath your right armpit. Just make some circles with the ankle to both sides. Bring that foot back down. So just a quick little Warm up, stretch. Make some circles with that foot and ankle. Okay. Now start to walk your feet up to your hands. 
And now just hang and just move around side to side. Walk your hands over to the right. Maybe walk your fingers out, get right into that armpit and the back of the left shoulder. And same thing, over to the left, stretch into that right side shoulder. And come back. All right, so now you're gonna inhale. Okay, inhale and lift all the way up into a little bit of a back bend. Exhale, bring your hands down into Namaskara. All right, so we'll do a few sun salutations because I feel like we haven't done that for quite a long time. <laughs> all right, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, place the hands, step your feet back to plank. If chaturanga is not part of your practice, oops, you see that? <laughs> plank. Okay, if chaturanga is not part of your practice, then bring your knees down and lower your chest down and come in to up dog. Otherwise, go from chaturanga to up dog and back to down dog. So just now connect into your breathing, firm up the thighs, send your gaze towards your belly or your upper thighs. Start to walk your feet back up again. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, some deep. And interesting, as soon as I said, we're going to do some sun salutations, the sun came out. So yay. Take that. Inhale up, exhale fold, inhale halfway up, look straight ahead, exhale step back to plank, lower yourself down, inhale up dog, exhale down dog, another few breaths, lift your toes up now, Stretch out the Achilles tendon and the calves. Activate that lower uh, triangle region. So start to activate your navel. The nubby. Nubby mean, mean, means navel. And then walk your feet back up again. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Maybe you can wrap your arms around. Inhale all the way up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Step back to plank again. Lower yourself down your own way. Inhale into up dog, exhale into down dog. Keep 
Keep connecting with that pelvic floor. Lift it up, squeeze up and back to the spine. Pull it up through the heart, the throat, and into the third eye. Start to walk your feet back up again. Inhale, look forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, bring yourself back down to some of the heat. Now, I'm going to start to add on. So inhale up, exhale, inhale, exhale, step back, lower down, inhale up dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Position the back foot so it's on a slight angle. The back leg is straight and the right leg is bent. Now, keep the left hand down in line with the right foot and lift that right hand up. Look towards the hand. Breathe. Get that stretch going. And then you're going to frame your foot and then just lean back. So straighten both legs now and just fold over that right leg. Breathe into this muscle and through here. And then you're going to come up, so your right knee is bent, left leg is straight, lift your arms up, warrior one, and place your hands behind the back of your neck, and then just lean back. And keep that right knee bent. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. Take that left knee or elbow to the right knee. And then come back up. Position or opening your hands up. Stretch your hands back and you lock your fingers. And then you're going to fold into a humble warrior. Release your hands, place that left hand back down, stretch that right hand back up to the first posture. And then place that hand down, step back to plank. Lower yourself down again, inhale into up dog or cobra, exhale back to down. So building some heat now which really is designed to turn on that cleansing power that we all have sitting in our body. So you build up the heat, and step that left foot forward now. Position the right foot so it's kind of pointing out towards the right. And lift that left hand up. Bring that foot, lean back, and both legs are straight now. And then bend that left foot, or left knee. Come up into warrior one. And then interlock the fingers, place them behind the back of your neck. Lean back into it. 
Okay, and then you're going to take your right elbow to your left knee. Back up, interlock your fingers. Stretch your chest forward, lean into the left bent knee for Humble Warrior again. Then release, place the right hand back into position one. Left hand up, look towards that thumb. Stretch in opposite directions. Then frame that foot again. Step back to a plank. And lower yourself down. Inhale into up dog. Exhale back to down dog. Bend the knees, come into a hover. Press back to a down dog. Bend the knees into a hover, look forward, back to a down dog. Use your navel power, inhale, look forward. Exhale back. Two more, inhale. Exhale back. Inhale, back to a down dog. Now come down onto your knees, drop your forearms, measure out the distance, keep your shoulders in alignment. Interlock your fingers, look at your knees, retract the shoulders, belly is activated here. Pull that pelvic floor in, squeeze all of the locks, lift up to a dolphin. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale. Bend your knees to a hover. Exhale, back up to dolphin. Inhale to hover, back to dolphin. Inhale to hover, back to dolphin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and come down. Release your hands, separate your knees. Big toes to touch, sit back, take child's pose, stretch out, relax. Give that pineal gland, pituitary gland, a little massage here. Walk your hands over to the right. And walk your hands over to the left. And come back up into your rock pose. Okay, so you're going to take your hands, fingers are going to be in the front, thumbs are in the back, lift the elbows up, you're going to inhale to the left, exhale to the right.
center, just place your hands onto your knees. And just feel that life force running through your body. Okay, now you're going to come and sit down. You've likely never done this one before. This is a kundalini exercise. So it's quite simple. Bend your right knee. Place that foot down. No, everyone's going to have a different degree. You might be really tight, so you might be like this. Okay. <coughs> Now, you got to keep that foot flexed because your leg is really heavy and the hip flexor is going to have to do all the work. So you want to use your navel, right? So you're going to locate that place three fingers between the underneath your belly button and that's where all of your, your power comes from. Okay, so your hands are are behind you. Let me do this. Okay. So you're supporting yourself. Right foot's in. You're going to lift that left leg up. Okay. And try and keep your, your leg straight. And you're going to bring it to 180 and then back again. Okay. So you're going to inhale out, exhale back in. And 180 is the degree, but I mean, if you're really tight, you might be going to 30 or 40. So, you know, as, as you do this more often and hip opening and stuff, you're going to strengthen those muscles. Okay. So this, but this is really good just to unlock the hip and to strengthen it. and the groin and the inner thigh. Okay, place that foot down straight. Straighten out the right one now. So you're gonna inhale out, exhale back in. Keep using your navel. Okay, place that one down. We're going to do it again one time more each side. Okay, so I didn't mean one on each side. <laughs> Last exercises on each side. So keep that foot flexed and keep using the root lock. Okay, so lock all of that strength. Use your breath. Inhale out, exhale in. Okay, place that one down. Last one. Best of your ability. Place that one down. Bring 
bring your feet together in Baddha Konasana. Swing forward and come back up. So, like I've said before, it doesn't matter what your degree of flexibility is. If you're opening up your hips and your sacrum, stretching out your spine. So, this is also another Kundalini. And even though it's called Sphinx Pose, in Kundalini, they call it Cobra. So, there's two ways to do Cobra. So, you can push up like this and come back down. Or you can stay right on your elbows. So remember, your pubic bone is on the floor, but your ribs are lifted, and so you're really pressing out of your elbows. So, what you're gonna do is, this is your inhale up, and then exhale down, touch the head to the floor and then inhale back up. So you can do this with your eyes closed. Okay, so inhale up, exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale, down. So keep going. Last two. Take your hands beside you, press yourself up, and you're going to come back into the child's pose.
Okay. So now you're gonna take your legs out in front of you. And we're gonna strengthen the bladder and kidney and heart meridian together. So feet are flexed, legs are flexed, belly's in. Support your spine so you can sit up nice and straight. And you're gonna bring your hands out in front of you and you're gonna lean back and just go in a circle. You can make fists as well. So you're inhaling to the left, exhaling to the right. So you can you probably hear from my breathing. The breathing is a little bit more intense than just uh, like normal Hatha yoga. Use your navel. Now you're gonna go in the opposite direction. Just balance it out. So you're inhaling to the right then, exhaling to the left. And your arms are probably getting tired because gravity's pushing them down. You're nearly done, keep up. Sit still, sit in Dandasana, put your hands straight down beside you, toes pointing up, legs together, sit up nice and straight, press into the heels of your hands, feel the floor, connect to the navel center again, pull that area right back, squeeze rectum sex organ navel, lock all the locks, and then you're gonna drop your chin down to your chest. And then we'll do something nice now. Fold that right Place that right ankle, knee bent. Place it on the left knee. And then take your right hand and just gently push that right hip away. Or right knee away, which will, same thing. And then lift up that left foot. And then thread your hands, left one around and right hand through. And then just wrap your hands around, interlock your fingers, wrap them around the front of that thigh. If this is too much, then you can just place your hands underneath. Pull that knee in towards you. And don't let your neck be up like this. So straighten your neck and then just place it down. Flex that right foot. Flex the left foot too, actually. And then maybe you can take that right foot and place it down to the left. And then just 
Outstretch your right hand and look towards it. And then lift back up, lower that right foot down, place the left foot above the right knee. Take that left hand first and just push gently away. This might be all the stretch that you need. So if it is, then just be, just be good with that. Just get some length, just feel your body just coming down into the floor. And then if you want more, then bring that leg up behind, or <laughs> not behind you, towards you. Lengthen your spine again. That's both feet. And then take outstretch that left hand and just drop that left foot down to the floor. And then straighten, keep the right foot bent, straighten that left foot. Take your hands up, just pull the leg gently towards you. If, if you can, you can lengthen that right leg all the way down to the mat. If that's too much, then just keep it bent. And if you can, lift your head up. And if you can, you can open up. So left leg comes out and right hand comes out. So you're in a T, ideally. And then lift that leg back up again and pull your head towards your knee. Take that leg out to the side and look towards the left. And release. So I'll start off keeping that knee bent and then stretch up that left leg. So you might only be able to go right here and maybe your knee's bending. Just try and keep it straight. And if you have to, then just pull it away from you to keep that knee straight, just so you can get that stretch. Okay, so you're gonna pull your head towards, or your leg towards. And if you want, if you feel limber enough, you can straighten the left leg down to the ground. And then make that T again. You can also do it with the knee bent. And then bring that leg back up. And take that foot out to the side. And bring both legs up. So <clears throat> you can keep your, your hands behind your knees if you need support. Really push that tailbone and sacrum, the lower back, into the mat. So legs up at 90 if you can. Now, if your spine is really tight, you might be something like this, and then just hold your, your, your legs up and feel your back into the ground, though. most important. If you have plows part, Halasana, 
It's part of your practice. And you can give a hug. It's kind of nice just to relax your lower back. Stretch it out, really. Now with your legs um, up, bring your legs out. So you can support your legs, just place your hands right on your, above your knees, above, you know what I mean, wrap them around. So make the core do the work. So keep <clears throat> squeezing that pelvic floor. Cross your ankles now. <laughs> and then cross your ankle. Okay, so push that lower back into the floor and you're just going to go back and forth. So you're going to do a little bit of core work here. And if it's accessible for you, you can take your hands back behind your head. Or you can take them out to the sides here. Keep the toes pointed. Getting a bit of an inner thigh workout as well. External and internal uh, rotation. And then bend the knees and bring them to the left. So your arms are still out in the T. You can straighten your, your legs and flex your feet and just bring them so your hand can touch. And then you can bring your right hand up behind you. So you're in a triangle, laying down. And then bring your knees back to center. Drop them over to the right. So you can stay here, or you can lengthen your legs to your feet. Bring that left hand back behind you. And come back to center. Bring your feet wide to the edge of the mat. And just start to drop one knee into the center line of your mat and just stretch out the quads which are the front muscles here just get some of that tension out your feet together and your knees splay apart for Baddha, Sukta Baddha Konasana. You're going to 
Roll yourself up. Come sit however is comfortable for you. Please. I'm not trying to be bossy. Okay. So just see if there's any more tension. Just do a little bit of a spinal grind here. Relax that lower back. Get some of the tension out of there. And then come to do the other side. Okay, so now you're going to take your left shoulder to your right knee, okay? So just fold over, doesn't matter, you might only be right to here, that's okay. You're still going to get that stretch. So roll your shoulders, bring them up, and then just roll them down so it's like your shoulder blade, blades are squeezing together. Sit up nice and straight, squeeze, and then relax, roll them in. Bring your hands up, elbows to touch, palms press in a prayer, and you're gonna bring your arms out, and then bring them in and out and in. See if you can now keep pulling that navel into the spine. Open up your heart. And drop that right hand down. Stretch the left hand over. So sometimes we do this in the beginning, but I thought it would be a nice way to finish. So sit up nice and straight again. Take your arms in prayer, your hands in prayer. Bring your thumbs, place them right into the third eye. Press against, close your eyes, roll them up to that space. Take a deep inhale. Roll them up. Now squeeze all the locks, hold the breath, eyes focus, and exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Keep your eyes rolled up. Feel the energy in your hands. Now rub your hands together, activate. There's over 50,000 nerve endings in those hands. So activate your own energy. And then place your hands over your eyes. Feel your energy. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And then bring your hands into prayer. Open up your eyes. 
So I hope you feel a bit more renewed and restored and relaxed. And you felt your own energy and your own strength and your own flexibility. And that changes every single day. So be proud of yourselves that you showed up. Thank you so much for practicing with me and watching them. Please let me know what you think. Please comment. I love to hear your comments um, and suggestions. So namaste, be well, and I will see you again.